I think the color is what, like I said, uh, people struggle with the most. And once they land on the color, then selecting the door style is pretty easy. Either that it will like it or they don't. So, That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, and they'll say, well, I want simple, clean lines, or I want something more ornate, or I want the little braiding borders, and or, yeah. they, they can be a little more specific about that. And once you get those two things out of the way, um, then in, this, in sort of a roundabout way, um, you want to ask them about their budget. Yeah, I would first, I would say, well, we've got several different lines here. We've got a stock line called Aristocraft, and uh, that's your best price and your quickest lead time. Then we have a semi-custom, which is uh, a three-week lead time, but you get more choices of door styles and colors and options. And, the, and, and what the, is that brand? A diamond. Diamond. And then if you want to go higher end, uh, as you go up in price, you get more choices in door styles and colors and options and modifications, customization. So um, depending on how much you want to customize it, that sort of tells me where you want to be. Um, and then you want a sense of what their budget is. Uh, Ask them, is, is you trying to do this on a budget, or do you, or is this something uh, you're going to stay and live with for years and years, and you're never going to move out of the house, and mm -hmm. this is going to be the last major remodeling project. Mm -hmm. So long term uh, versus short term, is it a rental? Is this for a quick sale? Uh, is this for me, grandma, or in, in-law suite, uh, you know? ask those questions and that kind of helps direct me to well, this is what I want to show you and once I have a sense of uh, their budget whether it's low medium or high then that's kind of where I start my presentation